Hey guys, Big Red 3, Dan here again, very quick video. Currently watching 50th Festival in New York. Not so good, like, at all so far. Uh, I've had a 3 star match, a dud, and a 1 and 3 quarter star match. Maybe 2. So, so far, not off to a good start. Maybe it gets better. Alright, this is my day off. I don't have school tomorrow, which is nice. So, I wanted to relax. It's still 7 o'clock. I still had some little homework that I still had to do, which pissed the hell out of me. So, anyways, this is going to be a quick video on... Uh, I really wanted to plug this guy, but I just didn't want to make a video for no reason. So, I wanted a good reason to make a video, and I found one. And I'm going to plug this guy at the beginning and at the end of the video. This guy's name is Rare180. Let me tell you, he is a rare gem. I mean a gem. He made a video response to my hard truce. And I saw some of his other videos. And the guy's a smart kid. And not a kid. Uh, he's like 19, 20. Smart guy. Fan of the Attitude Era. Really knows what he's talking about. You know, started watching wrestling in 1996. He watches uh, WETNA. He watched WCW and ECW. He watches ROH on HDNet. I know he has the Era of Honor Begins. Maybe he has other ROH DVDs. I don't know if he follows the product like La, myself, Honor Hammer, Sanders Robin, uh, C-Dude. Uh, I think I'm missing someone. AJ Orton, The Miz 2003K. All those guys who we watch like the, the Ring of Honor shows currently. I don't know if I said this. I did buy Manhattan Mayhem 3, Valentine's Season, and End of an Age. Yeah, I did buy them. Just so you know. Oh, ROH having a DVD sale. 25% off. I told you every day they had a buy two get one free sale, which you do save more than with the twenty five percent off. I'm sorry, but that sale ended, and now they're having a twenty five percent off sale. So if you're interested, I'd go buy a DVD. Sorry about the phone, just ignore it. So anyways, yeah, like I said, rare one eighty. He's a rare gem. He has one subscriber, and I was shocked because he is a very smart guy, very 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 smart guy. Um, in all those videos, you see a wrestling TV, a background where he has a TV that's showing wrestling clips, and I like that. You know, he was showing the uh, Shawn Michaels Diesel match throughout his video, in one of his videos. Very smart guy. I think I saw three or four of his videos. I'm not sure if I saw all of them. I think I might have seen three. Um, I think I saw three or four of his videos. That's how impressed I was with this guy. A very, 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 very smart fan. And he's a true gem because he's so rare. I mean, one subscriber, that's freaky. So please, guys, subscribe to Rare180. I really think he's a really... Smart guy. I mean, I know he hasn't done much. He's only done like four videos. Each of them are only like five or six minutes each. But I don't know. I see something in him. Rare 180. Go subscribe to him. I think he's a really knowledgeable guy. Okay. Are the gimmick pay-per-views for the WWE really that bad? That's what I want to know. Because people are always saying, oh my god, WWE's doing a gimmick. They're saying they're devaluing the gimmick. Well, let's think about it. The only thing that they're devaluing is that the gimmick is no longer predictable. We kind of know where the gimmick is going to take place. And the Hell in a Cell is only going to take place once a year anyways. TLC, not so much, but still, we'll still see the money in the bank. The money in the bank has been going on every year since WrestleMania 21, and I haven't heard one person complain saying the money in the bank is devaluing the ladder match. I haven't heard that once. The, uh... Royal Rumble, I guess the Royal Rumble. The Elimination Chamber, a lot of people didn't have a problem with that. Sure, some people are thinking, oh, maybe it's not the same, but they still thought it was good to very good, and they look forward to the Elimination Chamber. They have the Elimination Chamber twice a day. I love the Elimination Chamber way more than the Hell in a Cell. I mean, sure, not all the chambers have been good, and it's debatable that only... The, the, there's an argument that before 2007, out of the... Five, I want to say five chambers... Three of them were bad. Uh, I I agree. The one final at uh, New Year's Revolution, the second one, the second uh, two thousand six, that one was bad. I thought the I think the Extreme Elimination Chamber gets too much shit. I think I thought the match was three and a half, three and three quarter. The Summer Slam one was three and a quarter, three and a half, and the other two were four stars. And the first one was almost five in my opinion. And then. So like people are saying, oh my god, the Elimination Chambers, man, they really decreased in value. They, I mean, they're, they're, not, they're, they're not as good as DC, but they're still very fun. Well, in my opinion, what they used to be was not that good. In my opinion, the Chambers this year were better than three of the Chambers before, before they started doing this in No Way Out. Out of the four Chambers we've had, I thought all four of them were better than three of the Chambers before No Way Out. So why is that such a big deal? 
And I kind of like having the Elimination Chamber in that spot right before Mania. Sell the six men who can fight at Mania. Now people are saying this will ruin the Hell in a Cell. Maybe because the Hell in a Cell has been around a lot longer. We've seen a lot of better matches at the Hell in a Cell. But personally, I don't think it's that bad. Maybe the only thing that kills it for me is that the ECW title I heard is going to be on the line in the Hell in a Cell. That kills it for me. But besides that, I mean... I don't really see too much of a fall with it. Sure, we don't we can't test the predictability, and yes, we don't know if the if the feuds need a hell in the cell. If the feuds are violent enough to warrant a hell in the cell or a TLC. But still, like I said, there were many feuds. Like like people are gonna say, oh, people really don't need the ladder. Like I made my video and I forgot about Undertaker Edge TLC. Pugh, I completely forgot. That was a great ladder match, I thought. But like I said in my video, the ladder match is already devalued. They've already shown ladder matches that are not special anyways. So why is this pay-per-view such a downer? It's a downer, I guess, this year because we've already had three. But, like, the fact that they don't need the ladder, like, they haven't needed it the past two years besides Take Her Edge, in my opinion. I don't know how this one makes it any better. I really don't. It's right after Survivor Series, one of their big four pay-per-views. I really don't see too much of a problem with it. I'm, like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm a little mad, but I'm not, like, pissed off. I've seen, like, several videos on this thing. And like I said, you know, Hell in a Cell, the TLC, they're both good. And they're both going to be good shows. We both know that. They're going to be better than your average throwaway. These are not throwaway pay-per-views anymore. They actually mean something. Rock and Planet, oh yeah, they're, 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 they're still going to be good shows. Those, those two Hell in a Cell matches could both be at least four stars. Three and three quarter. There have been some worse Hell in a Cell. Hell in a Cell are worse than that. Like the DX Hell in a Cell was I think three and a quarter. And I enjoyed that Hell in a Cell a lot. Uh, the uh, Triple H Kevin Nash also very underrated. I think that's three and three quarter, nearly four. I don't know why people say it sucked. I thought it was pretty good. So it's still going to be a great show. Isn't that all we care about? We always complain the WWE is boring. The WWE doesn't do anything new. All the pay-per-views are throwaway pay-per-views besides the big four. And now they do something to make the pay-per-views seem special. And that's always been a big deal with me. People have always complained, these matches aren't special, these matches aren't special, these paper, these matches aren't special, they're not getting special anymore. In my opinion, the pay-per-views not being special is way worse than the matches not being special. Because, why, 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 why would you want to see the match if you don't want to see the pay-per-view at all anyways? Really, it was a downhill spiral. Sure, you can make the gimmicks valuable, but if we're not going to order the pay-per-view because we don't order anything besides the big four, most people... Then what's the point of having it in the first place? This makes the pay-per-view seem special. Breaking point. Looks great. It looks like a very good card. Let's see. We have... I had it saved somewhere. Do, 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 do. Okay. Breaking point. We have Taker CM Punk. That will be awesome. Like, awesome. Randy Orton John Cena in an I Quit match. That will be fun. Uh, DX was cleared with Teddy DBLC in a submissions count anywhere. First ever. That would be fun. William Regal versus Christian in a submission match. William Regal's great submission wrestler. Mark Henry in MVP versus Jericho and Big Show. I, I, I like that match. It sounds a little fun. It actually works. You know, Big Show and Mark Henry. They tried to do that with Big Show and Chad. And Chris Jericho and JTG. This one looks like better. Big Show, Mark Henry, Jericho and MVP. It looks good. John Morrison versus Dolph Ziggler. That would be great. Okay, Kane Kali, maybe not so much. But still, this looks like a very, very, very good pay-per-view. And we were all complaining this pay-per-view would suck. Now this pay-per-view seems special. When they did it with the scramble match, I thought the pay-per-view felt special. I guess, you know, I think this is better than the scramble matches. I think well, we're going to get more from it. The pay-per-views now seem important. They never seemed important before. No Mercy, Unforgiven, Armageddon, Extreme Rules... Uh, I know I'm missing one. Cyber Sunday now, they just kind of changed the name. All those four reviews, no one, they usually did not get that, much, that many buys because, you know, people really didn't care. People, the best buys that WWE gets are the first four pay-per-views. Backlash this year, I don't know how Backlash drew such a low number, but it did. But WrestleMania, Rumble, SummerSlam, Survivor Series, No Way Out always does great. And Backlash usually does very good because it's right after Mania. Then Judgment Day is kind of when they sink. And they sink until SummerSlam, and then they sink again until Survivor Series, and then they sink into the Rumble. No one cared about the pay-per-views in between. Now they feel special. I like the gimmick pay-per-views for the most part. 
Judgment Day is the only like Judgment Day in the bash is the only two babies that don't have anything. But I promise you, by next year, WWE will do something about that. And like I said, I'm kind of agreeing with them on this one. Now the get now the pay per views seem special. They don't seem like throwaway pay per views. But like I said, okay, my two points I made. These matches have already been devalued. I guess the Hell in a Cell not so much. Kind of with the DX match, they kind of were a little bit devalued. And the latter match has been devalued for years, in my opinion. Uh, the pay-per-views need to be fe feel special now. They're going to feel special. And the shows are going to deliver. The shows are going to be good. The pay-per-views are going to be much better in pay-per-view quality, in my opinion. We have yet to see these giving pay-per-views because Mad of Champions has been around for a while. And the bash was just sucked like it always did. And SummerSlam was good. So trust me, maybe this isn't that bad. Like I said, please subscribe to Rare180 because he is a true gem. I mean gem. A very, very smart wrestling fan. Please subscribe to this guy. I don't know how he has so little number of subscribers with the knowledge that he has. Maybe he needs to get more time. I don't care. Very smart guy. Go sub to Rare180. Okay, I'm Big Red. 3, 10. Malachi, see ya.